what they go do with me now I'm still a talk of the town Don't need assistance, I'm poking them down We turn the smiles into frowns Gang hop out, then we clear on the Hey, what's up, y'all? We got a new episode of Talk of the Town Today we have a special guest Maya V It's Maya Baby, girl, boom So you like Maya Baby or Maya V? Like, which one? Uh, I feel like when I introduce myself, it's Maya Baby Because I say I have to be on my tracks But uh -huh. look me up, it's Maya V Okay, okay, okay you plan on changing the V or no? Mm -mm. no? I feel like the V different because I never know about what a V at the end of the day. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to play a game. I'm going to ask you a question. Say the first thing that comes to mind. All right. All right, what's your sign? It's Sagittarius. What's your favorite color? Blue. For real? Yeah. But your hair is green. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody say that, but like, my favorite color was blue at first. Okay. I'm starting to like green more because my hair, but I don't know. Okay. Um, who's your favorite power couple? Mm, Dirk India. Okay. Um, strands on the island, three things you need. Um, my phone, my lip gloss, and a bottle of water. Okay. <laughs> Last thing you spent money on? Um, I bought a pair of boots. Okay. Okay. Um, what's one world record you think you could beat? Like, what's something you think you're good at? Hidden talent, maybe. Um, I think I'm good at, really good at singing. Okay. So you think so I you can like, sing? Yeah, and I bust my singing songs out. Okay. Um, who's the most underrated artist? Um, underrated. Mhm. Mm I don't know. It's a lot of it's a lot of underrated artists. That's like mad tough. Name one. Just one. Me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. One artist you want to collab with? Um, Rella. Okay. What rapper would you not let date your daughter if you had one? I'll let D my NBA young boy. Damn, why does everybody keep saying that? <laughs> really? <laughs> Better as everybody keeps saying that. Okay, um, who's your favorite artist right now? Uh, girl or boy? Well, it matter. One on one. Girl boy. Uh, Lil Dirk. And. Yeah, probably, probably Lil Dirk. I say Lil Dirk. Okay, and who's the worst rapper ever? Worst rapper ever? Oh my god. I'm gonna I'm know it after this interview. I'm telling you, um, can't rap. I can't even think of the worst rapper. Okay. And um, what? Okay, what's your favorite TikTok sound currently? Um, it's that it's that hip shit. How that shit go? It's like. What? It'd be like, and then we go through the through. Oh, oh God, like lay this. song. That's lay song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, um, yeah. Okay, last one. What's your biggest pet peeve? Mm, I'm a liar. A liar. Yeah, you keep saying that. You've been saying that all I day. I, I hate liars. <laughs> okay, so let's begin to. So give us a little bit of your background. Where are you from? From the Bronx. Okay. Grand Concourse. So you from not from RPT. Oh, how did okay. Chill over there? Okay, okay, okay. All right. So, how did you end up meeting them? I guess. But the people from RPC. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like close and distance, and plus, like, it's like we all fuck with the same people. Oh, like school. Like I be nah. We all like I mean schools too, but like nah. I'm saying more like I be on eight hundred. Mm -hmm. So people from eight hundred fuck with people from RPC. Mad different like shit like that. Okay. So, do you feel like with, like, hanging out with them, you kind of had to, like, pick their side in a sense? Not really. It was, like, I mean, I, I already, like, knew everybody from their side. So, it was, like, my side was already, like. Yeah. So, you didn't really know nobody else to even. I mean, I think knew a couple people, but it's kind of like they know what's up. Like, they, oh. got, they, they got their side type shit. Right. Okay. So, when did the music come about, though? When did you get into music? Um, I've always been doing music, but it just wasn't rapping. Like, I was singing since I was, like, mad little. Then I start rapping later mm -hmm. on. Okay. Any reason you stopped singing? No, I still sing. I just like I ain't come out with that first. Okay. Okay. So when so you say you've been hanging out with RPC and all that. So you was around when D thing and all of them was rapping. I was I wasn't around, but like I was speaking to them. To okay. Them. Okay. So when he got I guess when he got locked up, well he got locked up a couple times, but I guess so. How was that? Like I mean, hearing that and like knowing that. Nah, it's just crazy. Like they took a bunch of them. It's like free all of them. Yeah. Everything. 
But um, do you still keep you keep in contact with them still? Yeah, they call me. Okay. Okay. So then, um, so when you first came out with music, what made you want to come out with a diss track? <laughs> because like uh, the people from the other side was dissing our side, so I just like did the same shit. Basically, diss them back. Okay. And more so, so you just responding? Yeah, kind of. Okay. And did um was they like? This time, or did you feel like they were speaking on people you knew about, or like what yeah, made you like, like they were speaking? They were speaking on people I knew about type shit. Okay, okay, and then you went in the booth and did that. Okay, so did, was you? Did you want to be a rapper at first, or you wanted to keep singing, or like how I does that? Both. Like I wanted to. Like I'm gonna still do both. Like mixing it up. Like I do some singing songs, some rapping songs, rapping and singing on one track, mm-hmm. all that shit. So so how so when you was doing the singing song, where's the old singing songs? They still out. Or you took the, them down. Well, no, like or? when I was singing, like I never like. Went right, to so the I, studio. I didn't really, yeah, I about to say I didn't. I had a singing song that was recorded, but like pull that shit up. It's like I was eight years old. Like it wasn't mm-hmm. like a singing singing songs like I got now. That's gonna come. Okay. Okay. So then in going to RBT, you met Kenzo and all of them, right? Yeah. So like, how did you and Kenzo become close? Uh, it was more like I gave her her flowers in the interview. She hit me up. We started talking back and forth, and then we started hanging out, and then we end up making a song. That's mm-hmm. double double trouble. Yeah. So y'all first song, y'all was responding back to the drama. Yeah. Okay, so how did that video shoot go that day? Did y'all plan to shoot the video or no? Yeah, we pl- we plan to shoot the video. We like we plan matching fits. We plan all this because we okay. we had the song for like two. What's crazy is like we did the song like let's say it was on Monday and then Wednesday we shot the vid. So like, we had to learn our lyrics, pick a fit out, do all that, okay. tell everybody pop out all that type of shit. So y'all picked the fit the Ithaca thing on purpose. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> people was not feeling that. <laughs> so what do you what do you think? Do you feel like? I feel like you, when you shoot videos, you be mad calm. You don't really get super girly. You be like sweatsuits and sweaters and stuff. Do you, are you gonna start getting girly or? Yeah, I feel like that's not even really my style. It's just more like I don't really be caring. Like, I just be like, oh, we got a video shoot. I right, fucking sweatsuit because I can just throw it on. Like, okay. but. And with the whole ethic and shit, like, I feel, they was just, oh my God, bro, that day, it was, like, really hot in the summer zone, is why we chose ethic, is, like, we, well, first, you know how New York skirts. weather be, yeah. Our first pick was, like, skirts, actually, because we put skirts on in our trailer, it was, like, mm-hmm. we're going to have this fit or this fit, it was, like, fuck it, we'll just do the skirts for the trailer, and then do the ethic and shit for the video, mm-hmm. we did that on purpose, because it was mad hot outside that day. Okay. Yeah, New York weather is crazy like that, it be up and down. So, um, so in that song, you, I was running to Shawnee. Right? Yeah. So, like, did you and Shani have conversation prior, or she kind of just threw you in the mix, or like, what happened? Nah, it was more like a, she was dissing my friend, so I dissed her. Oh, okay. uh, when I go lie on, like, I don't got a beef with Shani, but like, she fake tried to make it a beef, and she made the shit she made back. Yeah, and then you made a song back. Yeah. Okay, and then y'all with this burning stuff and printing <laughs> stuff out with the candles and all. Oh my god, it's so much. So like, what? So that was like a treatment y'all made up, or? Yes. The cameraman came with that? Like, who nah, planned we, that? We came up with that. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, so so are you going to, like, get, like, I guess more creative in, like, other ways in music videos now? Or, like, what's the plan? Yeah, like, I'm going to have, like, my videos and all my, my videos, how I dress, all that is about to look mad different. Okay. Is the green going to be your thing? I feel like, yes, the green is going to be my thing, but, like, I don't know. Sometimes I'll be wanting to change it up, but I feel like... Oh, no. like, I don't know. I guess he's a signature yeah, thing right now. Yeah. I don't think you should change it. Yeah, it's like I'm gonna end up keeping it. Yeah. So um. So okay. So that. So what's your thoughts of people that like? I guess come up dissing because after you, it was like a whole bunch of other artists that also came up dissing. What's your thoughts on that? I feel like everybody fake went up the same way. Some mm-hmm. blew up a lot. Some didn't blow up at all. So, I mean. I don't know. Everybody's just doing the same thing. So I feel like it's just like if the crowd is attached to you, mm-hmm. then I guess you did it. But like if they don't, then you just like you fake this hella people for no reason. Like, because now even if your song flopped, they're still going to be on your ass. Yeah. Because you're the same fans. Yeah. So what do you think makes you stand out from everybody else? What do you think made you stand out? Me stand out? Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. I feel like. This like it's not me normally. So I feel like I'm just me. Like like you have to like meet me, be around me type shit. Mm-hmm. But for the people who just like heard my music. I don't even know. I feel like I'm just a good rapper, but mm-hmm. I don't know. Like I said, some the the crowd attached to certain people. I just happen to be one of them. Okay. And then so in writing, 
Because I feel like you were surrounding yourself with Kenzo, and she pushes her pen. And so do you Do you feel like the pressure is on you to, like, really write, like, push your pen type shit? What do you mean, like, write my own songs? No, I know you write, but, like, you're surrounded by lyrical people. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody from that side yeah. got bars. So, like, do you feel like you got the pressure to keep it up? Or what do you think? Yeah, I feel like... um. Do they I keep you like, on your toes in the studio? But like, nah, you should change that. Like, yeah, they some, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say that. Like, sometimes I, my friends is with me sometimes in the studio. Usually, it's just like me, my managers. But like, some of the times when they come with me, they'll tell me they'll be like, no, my like, change that, put this, put that. <laughs> okay. But most of the time, like, they jack what I what I already come with, like, to the studio. Okay. And what's your writing process like right now? I don't know. I really just like. Like, when people be giving, like, it's like a billion beats in my email, but, like, mm-hmm. it's just, I just got to hit out one beat, and then I start going crazy okay. to, the, to the song. Okay, so you be writing it, though, in your notes or something? Or yeah, you I, put it, I put it down in my notes. All okay. right. So you're not freestyling? No, it's just more like I'll be going somewhere, and I, like, think of some bars, and I put it in my notes so fast so I could put this. So you remember it, yeah. Either that, or I just hear a beat, and I just start flowing on the beat. Like, once I hear the right beat that I want to write to, then, like, I just mm-hmm. start going crazy. So, have you started writing singing songs yet? Yeah. Okay. I got, I got singing songs recorded. I already have okay. like, my shit planned. Okay. So, what's the process when recording the singing songs? Uh, my singing songs? I don't know. I feel like my singing songs be like more I got to be in my bag. Like, I got to get tight at something. Mm-hmm. And then I be like, all right, watch this. Then I do some singing shit. Okay. My friends has heard some of my singing shit, but like, uh, my supporters ain't here yet. Okay. So, well, who do you feel like? Um, inspires you or who you inspired by musically? Um, if anybody, rapping or sing or any both either. Um, rapping is definitely like the like the Chicago niggas like Young Pappy, Lil Dirk, like them. I jacked them. Okay, so you into Young Pappy? Okay. But like, yeah, yeah, Young Pappy, L.A. Capone, like all of them from that side. I was mad. Girl, how old is you? Cause that was way <laughs> before <laughs> everything. But uh, I like all of them. Or um, on a more singing side, like I like like Celine Dion, Adele. Mm-hmm. Whitney, all of them type of singers. Okay, so yeah, so when you started doing the the pranks of Boobinum, it was all trolling about your age. So do oh, you yeah. want to put your age out there, or they oh, yeah. just gotta I wait to, to see? I, I told somebody in another interview like my friend was just in the back playing, but like I'm 17, about to be 18. Okay, because a bunch of them was I I heard 13, 12. I heard mad different. Yeah, I feel like people was wondering how old you was. Okay, so how collabs been going? Because in, you got a song with Kenzo. You well, I don't. I didn't see no song with like Kai Structure, or did you do a song with Nesty? Yeah. yeah. Uh, who did what? Yeah, yeah. So like, so how is that like doing features? How do you pick who you want to do songs with? Um, I really just like if I think you're tough, like I do a song with you. Okay. I'm not gonna like not even know no like no Hollywood shit. It's just like because it's like people that's underground that's mad tough that I'll do a song with, but it's somebody that's up here and I'm like, no, your ass. Like I'm not doing. It. I don't really want to do a song with you. So, being that you was already cool with, like, Nesty and Kenzo and them, did they, like, make you, like, wait a little bit to get the feature? Or, like, how was that? It was nah, kind of just like, happened naturally? Yeah, it was, like, uh, with all the shit that was going on at the time that I met Kenzo, like, it was just, like, it made sense. Like, we just hopped on the track. But mm-hmm. she had already, like, said she jacked my music. Like, she, when we was on the phone, she's like, yeah, I heard that song by you. It was fire. I jacked mm-hmm. her shit. And then with Nesty, it was just, like, that was my best friend. Like, we was just in the studio. And okay. he was like, oh, I, I showed him a piece of a song I already had. And I was like, this fire. He was like, yeah, that's fire. I'm going to hop on that. Okay. Just did like that. Okay, so the so you and Tata was on live or FaceTime or everything. <laughs> so so that was the whole big thing when it was like Murder B was mad saying like you can't drop with Tata. What's yeah. up with the song with Tata? Are we getting that? Me and Tata, yes, y'all getting that. Like, okay. about shoot the trailer, the video, and all that. Okay, so it's already in the works. Yeah. Okay, so do you feel like it's certain people that you can't do a feature with, if anybody? That I can't do a feature yeah. with. I mean, I could like. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I I could do what I want, but like as a sorts of like for respect, out of respect, like yeah, certain people like I probably wouldn't do a song with. Okay. So what are your thoughts on four one in general though? Four one is tough. Okay. I, like all of them, I feel like it's tough. Okay. And then um, so then, so. What are your thoughts right now with the whole female drill divide? I feel like y'all all kind of splitting up. Um, I feel like it's, I feel like it's been split up just off the fact that, like, everybody's from different sides. Yeah. Does that mean, yeah. So, but, like, I don't feel like we, now we're splitting up. Like, I feel like the, the rappers that was already together stayed together. Okay. Except, like, the whole Kenzo Shawnee shit, but, like, that was because she, Shawnee did some funny shit. 
Yeah. No, I have been before you. Like came around. But I mean, even still, I feel like right now I think you and Murder B had like a big situation. What are your thoughts like on that? You think y'all ever did that or if if we you said you think we ever You and Murder B. Like you think y'all ever dead beef or no? Oh, dead beef, like these yes. people? Yes. I like <laughs> right, I don't know. Like I feel like we I feel like we don't even have a beef, like it's I just music like shit. Like, yeah, and it's music shit, and it's like it's some behind the scenes shit, but it's more like I don't be think about her. I'm, I don't know if she be think about me. Mm-hmm. I don't care about that girl. Okay, and then like um, okay, so you have a show coming up with the sweepers. Yeah. Okay, you excited? This is your first performance. Yeah. <laughs> okay, how you feeling? Hype. Ready to get okay. hyped. How you been getting ready? Have you been practicing? Uh, I've been fine. Okay, I was in the mirror a little bit, like see what I'm gonna look like. Like I was like, I'm gonna look stupid to around doing this, but I was like, nah. Like I feel like I feel like I just want to go crazy. Okay. Okay. So I feel like, yeah, I feel like so Tom's gonna be putting on some good shows. So, what's your relationship status like right now? Cause you was on Please Don't Lack, and it was a whole bunch of drama. <laughs> oh no, nah, I'm single. Okay, right know, now? Like, yeah, so they think I took to a bunch of people. And I'd be like, y'all are far off. So is there anything you want to clear up or? Uh, want to clear? I feel like it's just like they see me with any nigga and think I took to him. I feel like so, okay. I like, I know, they know, but like right now I'm single. Okay. But somebody serious in the works? I could say like fake talking to somebody, but like. I'm single as of right now. Okay. So we get it together. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, but I said, because you got them in love. They were in paragraphs and all oh, of nah, this. The fa- oh, I don't want to say too much about that, boy. But that's not who you talking about. Huh? No, that's definitely not who I'm talking about. Oh, okay. I don't he know. know he better pack it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Better and. That. Why not though? Like, what what makes you like not interested in somebody? Like, what's your turnoffs? I mean, like I said, like I kept saying, liars, liars, liars. Like, I don't even want to bash him, but like he's one of those. <laughs> so he, you know, that's why I said I'm not even gonna get into that about him. But he definitely, he not who I was talking about. Okay. All right. And do you feel like you would date another rapper, or you feel like it just depends? Or yeah, I did another rapper. Oh, you said that like after this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, I talked to another rapper. Do you feel like it's kind of conflicting with your career or not? Nah? Um, not conflicting with my career. I don't know. It's like, I mean, I'm always, like, going to do my music, music stuff, stuff regardless. I was about to say, like, I never had a time where I was like, oh, man. Oh, you, you got me work. so mad. I want to make a song no more. Like, now if you got me mad, now I want to, like, go in the booth and make a song. Like, you going to know that song is about you. Okay. All right, so nothing slows up the music for real, for real. No. Nah. All right, so what keeps you motivated? Like, what keeps you going every day? Um, my mom, my manager, like, all the people who be like, oh, yeah, that's fire, that's fire, that. But, like, I don't know. I feel like it's just me because, like, I want to do it. Like, when it's something, like, I want to do, like, I'm going to just keep doing it regardless. Because, like, even before, like, everybody was saying, like, oh, I was tough and all that, like, I was still, I was going to drop it regardless. Okay. Are you still in school? Do the people in school be, like, bothering you? Do they know you? Oh, no, do I, don't know? Go, I don't school. I don't do school, like, in, in the building. Yeah, okay. like, because I'm moving around so much. Like, I'm be online. Okay, so you yeah. online school. Mm-hmm. It's like Zoom, or y'all just do work online? No, it's like it's like from the beginning of the year, they gave me, like, a big-ass list, and, like, it, gotta, okay. it better be done by, like, the last day when everybody else got out of, like, real school. So when did you, like, pull out of school? Like, when was it, like, too much going on that you had to, like? Um, I think right when I started doing my music shit. Okay. I pulled out of school. Okay. But you still doing online school? Plan- you, would you do college or, you don't know? Would I, would I go to college? Yeah. yeah. Do you, what's your, like, do you have, like, a backup plan? What, like, if, like, like say, like, I'm flopping mu- like If music, like, you know what I'm saying? So everybody got a full back plan, whether they do hair, makeup, like, whatever. Yeah, I was going to say, that was going to be my backup plan. Hair, makeup? I'm, I'm not going to lie. I, I want to be a nurse, but I feel like everybody see that. But, like. That's mad years of school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but if, I, if that wasn't it, I was going to do, like. I'm going to still do a lash business, but, like, that was going to be, like, my main thing if okay. I didn't do music. Okay. Do you feel like you do merch? Because I feel like you always wearing a sweatsuit. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I have, like, a big Maya V face on me. Something like that. But, yeah, definitely do some merch, I feel like. Mm-hmm. So, like, so when doing your music thing, how did you come about getting your team together? Um, At first, it was just more like I was playing around. 
And then I got serious, and I liked it with my managers that I have now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Both of my managers. How'd you know, like, they was to be a manager? Like, what made you lock it in? Um, I don't know. Like, I just, I jacked how to, like, how he moved, how he worked. So mm-hmm. I was like. Because a couple people came to manage you, right? Am I not? If I'm not mistaken, a couple people was interested. Yeah, and in locking in. So they wasn't locking in. But like I, yeah, a couple people like tried to manage me. And why was they a no? <laughs> like what happened? It was okay because <laughs> like I don't know. It wasn't like there was a no. It was just like a I wasn't the priority. And if I'm not the priority, then like why? Are you oh, me? so they had like other artists. Not yeah, that and like just say like, you can't. You can't manage me if you don't have your own shit together. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So, being doing the music thing, keeping it going. How, what do you feel like it's hard being consistent? Mm, not hard being consistent, but like making songs and like, cause like I said, I write all my own stuff. So like, I just be sitting down, and sometimes like I just can't write nothing. Like, mm-hmm. I, even if I hear like a tough beat, like I just be, like nothing to come to my head, or I repeat some shit I said in a song before, and mm-hmm. I just throw the whole song away. Cause now like I be like, nah, I'm not jacking it. Okay. All right. So you feel like you are harding yourself when it comes to like the music? Kind of. And then what about the singing songs? Cause you I nobody like the heard them yet. Right? So. I feel like the singing songs is way easier. Why you feel like it's easier? Like what? I feel like singing songs like you can really talk about like anything for like and cause like cause my voice tough is they just gonna jack it. But like mm-hmm. I don't know. I feel like singing songs is way easier. Do you feel like I gotta sit down and like think about my punchlines, think about what I'm gonna say? Yeah, rapping. rapping yes. Do you feel like drills like repetitive in a sense? Um, most. I don't know sometimes because like I heard drill songs that ain't sound like another drill song, but then I hear two songs that sound like this. They just said the same shit. Yeah, yeah. I feel like it is with drill, on, like, the rapper because we all kind of, y'all all kind of gonna rap about the same shit because it's a drill song. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So I feel like that makes it also harder to write because you don't want to say something somebody else said. Yeah, that's that's what the thing with the punchlines. Like I'm saying, like because yeah. because if you just talk about like I'm gonna spin your block, like you just only so much stuff you could say with a drill. Song. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so the song Glitch you performed with KJ Shadi. Everybody yeah. seemed to be fucking with that song. Yeah. Did you see um C Blue reaction to that song? <laughs> yes. He be reacting to a bunch of my songs. With how you feel about that? What him reacting to this song? Yeah. I don't know. I feel like I could say like he honest. He react like I feel like he reacts to everybody so he even reacts to the op shit. But he be jacking most of my songs, like of course, like he don't like when I does it means, but like other than that, he be like, Oh yeah, she fires himself. Okay. So how do you, so isn't he like considered an op to you? I guess. Yeah. So like so your op, the ops I guess fuck with your music. So what do you think? I feel like if the ops act my shit like you, there's no telling me I'm ass. Like there's no saying like oh it's not tough. Like bro, even I'm dissing your man's and you're jacking this one. So like so I think for the glitch song he was like I'm not jacking it. That's a bad flow. I think he was talking about the end of the song, but like I feel like change it up. I feel yeah. like I served it served its purpose like. The the point of that part was to get people dancing. Like everybody I see, hear that part start dancing. Like it was just like say. to change it because I ain't never do a song like that. Yeah, I must say I like that part. Honestly. Yeah, I must say some people like it was either like a, they love that part. And it was like not that shit ass. Like they hate that part. Okay. But like like I said, yeah. like, you don't like it. I don't know. So would you do more Jersey Club songs or you don't know? Yeah, I would do more Jersey Club songs. Like I like the those beats. Would you would you do with any one of those? You know any Jersey artists or? Oh uh, yeah, I know Bandman, MC Vert. Yeah. Um, D Rose. It's a nice. Would you one record one of them? Yeah, I make a song with MC Batman. Okay. Okay. So how do how do you I guess stay out of politics when it comes to doing features because you know, Batman. Uh. I, or you don't care I about that like stuff because like, okay. you're a girl. You I, know what say, I feel like when it's like second hand, to like all right, like so say like somebody make a song with one of my ops. And then I make a song with the person that made a song with my ops. It's kind of like, they don't have nothing to do with that. Yeah. So it's like, okay, so I can see you making a song with the ops. Like, I can see you had a problem with that. But it's like, if it's, it's a secondhand person, I feel like, they don't got nothing to do with that. Yeah. I feel like that's good. Some people like, not people, mature. Like, Some like, oh, people. Tata, like, because Tata makes songs with people that I don't fuck with. But it's like, he don't have nothing to do with that. Yeah. I feel like that's a mature way to think about it because some people be like, fuck all of them. And then it just goes yeah, left. Yeah, that's, that's how I, <laughs> I, I see that. I see that. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah. So, at least that you letting the artist be that artist. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I guess, what makes someone opt to you? Like, huh? 
I feel like it's it's more like because you you distance you distance them like dead man. Okay, that's really what it is. To be honest, because I feel like if niggas was just in their songs, like, I'm going to spin your blog, they wouldn't really take it to heart that much. But it's more because, like, they're smoking their mans. Okay. So then that's when it's, like, stamped. Okay. So that's how, like, I guess, that's how you decipher if someone is your op or not, I guess, in a sense. If they ever said something about your mans. Yeah, I mean, like, the word op in general is not, like, what it really, but, like, in this source of, like, the rap and shit, like, yeah. Yeah, definitely in music. So, so, what should I call it? Do you feel like... I feel like you don't have you have a lot of female ops. You feel like, um, no, really. I mean, like it's not even that many female rappers, but like, yeah, like probably two, three of them is ops. How you feel about when people be like, oh, why don't y'all just link up and fight? What do you think about that? I feel like even if you fight somebody, they're like it's still gonna be the same thing. Like at this point, y'all just fighting so y'all can put on the show for the niggas that's watching y'all, so they can say who really won that. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, but like, I mean, like if y'all want to fight. You feel like you should keep in the music, or you feel like it's gonna be a certain time where you're not responding to nobody no more. I'm def- I'm done responding to people altogether. Like I said, my other okay. if if you if y'all hear this song, it's an old track. Okay. Cause it's like 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 I said, it's only so much shit you can see in a drill track, mm-hmm. especially if you dissing the same people. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. So what? You, so. Some people say that they don't like drill music. Like, I don't know if you've seen this. Remy Ma interview when she was like, she don't really fuck with drill music. What are your thoughts on, like, people that don't fuck with drill music, I guess? I mean, I guess it's not for everybody, but, like, you gotta have a reason why you don't like drill music. You get to say, I don't like drill music. just because you don't. I think she said it was, like, loud or. That's what I'm saying. Like, especially like if, you're not, if you're not from somewhere who do drill music and you don't really know what they're talking about, mm-hmm. you probably are not gonna get it. Mm hmm. But like for the people who like in tune and know exactly what that line meant or exactly what this meant, you like, mm-hmm. oh. Yeah, I feel like some of the older people don't really fuck with it. Some of them do. I feel like so. How do you? So what's your plan now to get, I guess, newer fans and newer people involved with your music? Um, I, like I said, I'm a, I'm changing up everything really. Okay. So it's like I'm gonna still do my rapping shit. I'm gonna do my singing shit, and then mm-hmm. I'm gonna have some songs that's is singing and rapping. So okay. it's like. Everybody, I got everybody. Oh, like everybody. I bet I got some of you. Okay, so what's so? Are you signed or are you still independent? No, independent. So you still t- you taking on meetings and stuff? Yeah. Do you want to sign a deal? Yeah. What are you looking for? I guess when signing. Um, I'm just looking for them to make me their priority when they sign me. Mm-hmm. So like. What I want, like, when they sign me, I want them to, like, do what they said they were going to do from the beginning. Because I know some people sign deals, and then they and then they be like, damn, I, wish, I wish I would just stay independent. Yeah. I'm going to say, do you know people that are like that, that sign that they wish they would have seen? Yeah. And do they give you advice, I guess, on how to go forward yeah, and looking? they give me, like, some read that whole shit that they can give <laughs> you, like, don't just go for the higher numbers, like, all that kind of shit. Yeah. Okay, so what do you want to do, major or distribution, or you don't know yet? Yeah, I don't know yet. Okay, so you just filling it out? Yeah. Okay. So are we gonna hear a singing song on the show day or not yet? On the you show Alright, not on the show day, but <laughs> soon. Soon, like real soon. Like what's soon? Like this yeah, summer? Like this year, yeah, for sure this year. I said this summer. This summer? Yeah, probably. Okay. Are you done with drill music or are you just done dissing? I'm um, done dissing. Okay, but you're still gonna like, drop drill no songs. More, you won't hear no more names, but like okay. probably like I don't know. The people might even know who I'm talking about because, like I said, like I subliminal on this issue, but like I'm not putting, I'm not giving no more clout to nobody who don't. Like, okay. Okay, so no more dissing, but you're definitely gonna still drop drill music. Yeah. Maybe a Jersey Club song. Yeah. Okay. Do you have any other collabs that we don't know about that you ain't preview yet or something? That I didn't preview. Um. Yeah, I got the like I said, I got the song with Tata coming. Um. Me and Enda got something coming. Mm-hmm. Who else? I got a couple like collabs in the stash. Like some of them I don't even want to say. The like, out of so, town. Yeah, yeah. I got, got something that's not even in the Bronx. Okay, I'm curious to know who that was. <laughs> okay, um, are you do you plan on dropping a project EP, anything like that? Yeah. Or you want to wait till you sign? Um, I'm definitely dropping one this summer. Okay. Okay, so it just depends. Yeah. I guess on what happens. All right, so what's your plans for this year? You're definitely going to perform with the Sweepers. What else is happening this year? This year, I feel like this is my year. Like, okay. I'm coming with, the, like I said, rapping shit, singing shit, singing and rapping shit. Like, y'all going to be like, 
Why if you're in the future with who? Because, like, yeah, all that shit that I got in the stash. I feel like people just not ready for this year because they think I'm going to still be on the, the drilling shit or I'm going to just drop shit that's, like, regular shit. Mm-hmm. But you definitely dropping a little bit of everything this year. Yeah. Okay. All right. So tell the people where to find you. How can they tune into your music and all of that? Uh, y'all can find me Maya Dalvatan on everything. Maya V on YouTube. I say you a shadow man for a minute too. Is that fixed? Yes. I couldn't post or like follow people back. Like people would be like, oh, you follow me back. I start following back. It'll be like restricted or whatever. Yeah. Because I think like I got flagged for something, and then like it was more than one time. So now they just was not playing with me. Okay. So your yeah, Instagram is valid now. Yeah, okay. I, could, I could follow y'all back now. <laughs> y'all could follow me because it wasn't like people follow me either. Somebody, somebody sent me a screenshot. They tried to follow me, and it was like we restrict certain uh whatever that little. Yeah, that happened to like, my friend page like, too. My yeah. account is like bad. Don't follow my account. Like Instagram be doing some funny shit, but like now it's fixed. But Maya Davatan on everything, Maya V on YouTube, all platforms. Are okay, you dropping on your channel now, right? Yeah, okay. I'm about to. I'm about to. I think my next one's probably gonna go on my channel. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Do you feel like raps and hustles helped? Yeah. Like dropping on there? Yeah. Some people say it do, some people say it don't. I feel like raps, you see how everybody drops on raps and hustles. Like, you yeah. gotta be doing something if that's what everybody goes straight to. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like y'all also should just build on your own channels too, though. Yeah. Are you gonna do like vlogs and stuff? Or? Yeah. yeah. Like I said, I'm still hopping on Twitch, so. You really wanna get on Twitch? <laughs> oh my God. Twitch is like, I feel like everybody like get in funny. trouble on Twitch. I feel like Twitch would be mad funny. And they're going to have a little clips of me playing the game. It's crazy <laughs> shit. I know they're going to post it. Yeah, I am about to say, yeah, that. How do you feel about those pages that be posting y'all, like, not music related? Like, please like, don't like and like, Swayze and all that. Like, I, guess, I just feel like they all, like, they just have nothing better to do. And they don't even be posting good shit. Like, I've seen a couple pages that'll be like, oh, my V hit 100K on this or whatever. And then, like, the other pages be like, oh, my V throws it back. Like, what are y'all, like, y'all see that <laughs> That is past, like, this mad relevant. How do you feel about them posting your throwback videos? Like, your dub smashes? I knew it was coming. I try, to, I, try to, I try to find them and get them. I knew it was coming. So How do they like, find those, bro? I'm not going to lie. I was mad popping on that dub smash shit. Like, I had a million views, all this. So, like, man, I had fan pages of me, too, so that I can't take down because they're not my pages. Yeah. So, they probably, like, my like V, my baton, whatever my name was. I had the same name for, like, mad long. So, they probably yeah. just searched it up. That shit came up on Google or whatever. Yeah. And then they found it. <laughs> so are you skeptical about what you post now? Or and at this point I don't even care because like I don't even care. But like those videos, I feel like it was just no way of me trying like trying to delete all of them. Cause look, I used to make them shits every day. Like it was no yeah. getting them down before please don't like found them. Yeah. Please don't like found everything. Yeah, they definitely found they everything. Post a picture of like my broom, like my like they gonna find everything. <laughs> They definitely be finding everything. Some people like those pages. Some people don't. I feel like like if they would just give the news without being dick riders, it would be different. Like, if they was, like, like I don't know. Like, if they would just post news but not, like, how they do it. Yeah. Like, the way they do it is just, like, you're being Is there any blog pages that you do fuck with, though? Um, Some of them little su- supremacy pages is I. Mm-hmm. They'll post, they post, like, everybody music and shit like that. Yeah. Or, um... The NY Drill Official, they don't really be on some, like, Makes they don't sense. be on some, like, please don't watch it. Like, they'll just post, like, shows they face car, like, regular shit. <laughs> yeah. Or, like, they hit this much on this video. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, that's cool. I feel like only in our, like, drill world, we got, like, mad <laughs> meme blog pages. It's crazy. <laughs> and they all anonymous, too. Yeah. Well, it's like, they, like, worse than the shade room. Yeah. I mean, y'all gotta be prepared for that. Y'all, y'all up next. So did you, I mean you seen the um Warner got a stage at Summer Jam, right? And Kenzo yeah. performing. You think you're gonna go to Summer Jam? Yeah. Are you definitely gonna go? I'm there. All right, cool. <laughs>